Hello everyone, I am Jordan Eve, and for today, I will be sharing with you my USMLS journey as the Filipino RMT. But first, let me take a sip of my coffee. So before anything else, I just want to say that I was part of the pioneer batch of the K-12 curriculum implementation in the Philippines, which was also the same batch that had to go through the COVID-induced online classes in college. So jumping straight into my timeline, I started my Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science Studies at the La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute in 2018. Then early 2021, I was in third year back then, I took the initiative and volunteered in a freestanding laboratory near home. It was just so I could get a glimpse of how things were actually done in the laboratory before I got into my on-site clinical internship at the La Salle University Medical Center from December 2021 to February 27, 2022, which was about two months but between the weeks that we were on duty we had to go through a week-long quarantine because of COVID. In June 2022, I graduated and completed the four challenging years in college and at the same time, I began my two-month local boards online review with Lamar. Sobrang laking tulong sa akin ng modify yung playback speed ng lecture videos at napopo siya anytime I want. Feel ko na maximize ko yung time and effort ko during my board exam review. Then came August 26, 2022, I passed the PRC Licensure Examination for Medical Technologists. Took the oath in October and then got certified as International Medical Laboratory Scientist by the American Society for Clinical Pathology on November 7, 2022. A week after my ASCPI, I took and passed the IELTS Academic Test. Then on December 7, I had my transcript of records completely evaluated by the World Education Services or WES. For your information, WES evaluates transcripts of those people who had their education outside of US and or Canada who plan to study, work, or migrate therein. They give you your credentials equivalents to the US and or Canada's education system. So there are two kinds of evaluation reports that they offer, the document by document and the course by course, which was what I took. Although either of the two of them would work, I've just read that some employers prefer the course by course evaluation reports over the other one. So I was thinking since gagastos at gagastos at mag effort na lang din naman ako, then I might as well choose the one that gives a more detailed evaluation of my credentials para I was on the safer side. Kumbaga, okay nang nagbigay ako ng labis o kaya may extra na information kaysa dodoble ako ng gastos at effort ulit dahil kulang pala yung initial kong binigay. Going back, December 12, 2022 marks my first day working as a generalist in a tertiary hospital in the Philippines. Then January 7, 2023, I signed an agreement with a direct hire recruiting agency which is Certified Health Partners because I eagerly wanted to go abroad as early as possible in a seamless process. I actually even got some comments from other people saying that it's less likely for someone like me with limited experience to go abroad immediately, which was oh, na man, but I just took it as a constructive criticism and it never discouraged me in gearing towards my goal to venture outside of my comfort zone, to venture abroad as early as possible. Besides, I've always been very willing to learn and I actively and consistently invest in my knowledge and skills. Ika nga nila, for what you lack in experience, you make up for in diligence. And thankful din ako because Doc Gio and Doc Carol Silva believed in me and my capabilities despite me not having experience yet. Then January 14, 2023, I got Visa Screen certified by the CGFNS. I think among all the requirements, ito yung pinakamabigat sa bulsa at pinakamaraming asikasuhin, which you have only a year to accomplish everything. Dito kailangan mong makipag-ugnayan with your school for them to directly send your TOR to the CGFNS. Involved din dito yung PRC for your state board verification and of course your ASCPI certification and your IELTS test report. Mine took a month to accomplish everything and complete the evaluation. Anyway, August 19, 2023 was when I had my first job interview abroad, which was followed by a job offer seven days after. My agent negotiated for a few more things before I finally signed the revised contract on August 31, 2023. 
My petition got approved on December 7, submitted my DS-160 on the 13th, paid the MRV fee on the 14th, had my last day of work on December 17, and finally got my Polo Verify documents on December 29, 2023. I started out my 2024 in Taiwan with my family, and then pagbalik namin ng Pinas on January 4, rekta kami sa US Embassy for my interview to which I got my visa approved. Five days later, my visa stamp passport was delivered at home, and then nagpanotaryo na agad ako ng documents needed for POEA. Pero kinabukasan ko na nasubmit yung phase 1 document sa website nila because naabutan ako ng cut off that day, which is 5 p.m. January 11, I got my medical certificate from AAC Medical Center kasi siya yung isa sa dalawang DOH accredited medical facilities for OFWs in Cavite, the other one being HMI Care. At the same time, my POEA status was already assigned to an evaluator. Super grateful ako kasi ang bilis at naging smooth talaga yung process ko with POEA. January 12, I was already for approval and then January 15, I already accomplished my pre-departure orientation seminar or PDOS. On the 19th, I submitted my Phase 2 documents and then I was already for appointment status by the 22nd. January 23, I finally got my Overseas Employment Certificate. Then on February 1st, my agent called me saying nalilipad na ako by February 8, which was sobrang na-surprise talaga ako kasi ang akala ko, March pa ang alis ko. But then he told me na complete naman na yung papers and the hospital was all ready to accommodate me na. Months before that, super excited na talaga akong umalis and start a new life independently abroad. But at that time, during that call, I really did not know how to feel. Everything just went by so fast and I really thought I still had a month left to spend at home. But it's okay kasi at least na process na agad yung social security number ko and other pre-employment documents needed for me to work immediately here in the US. Kumirit nga lang ako if pwede ma-move on a later date yung departure ko instead of February 8, which was napagbigyan naman, naging February 13. So, I had a layover in Haneda, Japan, and then sa Chicago, Illinois, and then I was picked up at Omaha, Nebraska's Epley Airfield Airport by our lab manager, and then almost two hours yung biyahe papunta sa facility ko in Iowa. February 16, I moved into my one-bedroom solo apartment, which is just across the hospital, very convenient, got my social security number on the 23rd, and will be celebrating my work anniversary here every 27th of February. So that's pretty much my timeline from a struggling college student to a registered medical technologist in the Philippines to finally working as a medical laboratory scientist in the U.S. And of course, I wouldn't be here if it weren't because of the love and support by my family and friends, most especially my parents. I love you both, mom and dad. Lagi rin akong tumatambay sa Pinoy MedTech Abroad's Facebook group kasi ang dami kong natutunan doon regarding sa process and all that has to do with moving abroad. And syempre, above all, everything has been possible because of God. Every step I took, I prayed for it, and although I have my plans, I've always been very welcome and open for his redirection. So, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got something valuable from this one. If you have a goal, just go and act upon it. Bye!